As any of the people who come uh, uh, with a, an attitude, and I'm not talking about Trump supporters. I respect Trump supporters. I don't like characterizations of, the, of them that are being made. But I do not uh, support those who uh, attract white nationalists, white supremacists, those who do Ohio Hitler. And that is what the danger of it is. People have a right to express themselves, and other people have a respect to respond to it. There should never be any violence involved in that. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi talking about the violence around the Antifa uh, protests and really at some points attacks of demonstrators there saying the violent actions at Berkeley over the weekend deserve unequivocal condemnation. Uh, that has gotten its own condemnation. She's the, really the only Democrat who's spoken out that we could find. Larry O'Connor, contributing editor at Mediaite, uh, writes, Democrats are loath to condemn Antifa because in part they represent their base, the same anti-capitalist, anti-American thugs who polluted our cities with the Occupy Wall Street movement, who were praised by Nancy Pelosi and President Obama, are now weaponized with the coordinated and violent attacks that we see in Antifa battles waged on a regular basis in those same cities. Sanders, Warren, Al Franken, and other Democrats are counting on them in 2018 and 2020. No surprise there. But shouldn't the media step up and pepper every lawmaker they encounter with the same barrage of will you now condemn and do you disavow and will you reject the support of questions that every Republican faces? Back with the panel. Molly. Well, Antifa or other violent leftist groups have been doing this type of rioting and protesting really going back to the 90s. And when you think about what the Democratic Party was at that time, the Clinton administration was actually very pro-free trade. There was some distance between the left, uh, between these leftist violent groups and the Democratic Party. But as the Democratic Party has sort of moved a little bit to the left, it is stunning that you don't see people asked more about the ties between uh, the left and violent groups. I mean, even with the Steve Scalise shooting, that was a totally mainstream progressive who shot up that baseball field and attempted to assassinate Republican leadership. You didn't see a lot of calls on people to denounce that type of rhetoric or whatnot. Mara, you know, that statement by Pelosi, people have a right to express themselves and other people have a right to respond to it. Sounds a lot like both sides. Well, yeah, but then she later issued a statement where she clearly <laughs> condemned them by name, as she should have. I feel like condemning Antifa, however you pronounce it, is a no-brainer. It's a gimme. Every Democrat should stand up on their hind legs and scream it from the rooftops. It's an easy thing. Well, at least Ant the ones in California. Have, well, how, how, about, how about anywhere? They And people who wear black masks and beat peaceful protesters have no supporters at all. It's an easy thing. It's just why everybody was gobsmacked that President Trump didn't seem to be more willing to condemn neo-Nazis. Democrats should be just racing to the microphones to do this. It's an easy thing. There is no one out there who supports these groups. They're not going to lose any votes. It's a total gimme. I'm actually surprised that there's that much hesitation. I mean, what's the difference between a guy carrying a tiki torch he bought in Costco and, and, and later running a car into a group of peaceful protesters and those guys beating people in Berkeley. It's I the guess same it's thing. Just, it's just interesting that it's Wednesday, right? And we're getting this statement today. Yeah. And there's been, and then obviously we've had a lot to cover with Harvey, with North Korea, with everything else, but there's just no questions about the delay. No, I mean, well, the fact is Democrats have just not been profiles and courage in this. So, so compliments to Nancy Pelosi. It was a straight, clear, unequivocal condemnation by name that she made. So I don't think you ask any questions about that. I think the reason why some Democrats have been uh, hesitant to, to uh, go after Antifa was that because if they did that, it might lend some credence to Donald Trump's contention that there were some bad dudes on the other side uh, in Charlottesville. That's something they have not wanted to, to to go to at all, it makes things a little more complicated if there are bad people on their side. Oh, but they should get themselves on record right now in case it happens again. This is not Charlottesville, it it's happen. Berkeley. Yeah, so yeah. they can condemn it there. They, I think they should get themselves on record. When we come back.